decided to make a first year freshman what to bring to your dorm video dorm essentials because I know many people ask me um, I get many questions so let's get right into it first of all I want to say excuse my sunglasses tan it's so bad I just got back from the Bahamas and I forgot sunscreen on my face one day so right now I'm currently peeling but it is what it is I'm not gonna be fake about it this is my face it did do that I don't know how noticeable it is in camera but it was pretty bad in person but I'm just gonna embrace it <laughs> okay so first of all if you're a person who needs your bed to be comfortable I definitely recommend a mattress topper or like a mattress pad this will go right on top of the bed that is in your dorm and then you can put the sheets over it but this helped me so much because the beds were super uncomfortable and it just it was a game changer second of all i definitely recommend a power surge outlet so i actually have one of these in my room right now um it connects to the wall and you have more cables to plug in you'll need this in your dorm because let me tell you some dorms just do not come with enough outlets and then you have to keep switching them in and out for a lamp or your phone or your computer etc it really really helps so as an international student from the bahamas if i forgot something that wouldn't be very good it's not that easy to send stuff it's not easy for international students so i definitely overpacked it's different from you if you're domestic and your house is, you know, an hour away and you can just go there to do laundry. But if you cannot, I definitely recommend some storage bins, storage units. Um, I can put some pictures up right here. Um, they work wonders, honestly. College dorms do have some storage, but some of them just do not have enough if you overpack like me. So these really helps me. Okay, and then this one may not apply to everyone, but if your major requires you to print a bunch of stuff, you may want to invest in a printer or split it with your roommates if you have them. But uh, yet again, it's not a requirement. Uh, I'm in a major that does require a lot of papers to be written, so having one definitely made it easier. And um, I did share it with my roommates. And it just avoided us, you know, the walk to the library every single day and to have to pay to print stuff. It's not expensive um, at all, but, you know, it's just better to have it handy and at home if you need something rather than depending on the school. Okay, next, a laundry bag. Do not forget this. You do not want to be using like a plastic bag for laundry every single time. A good laundry bag is essential, especially when you have to carry it down to the laundry room. So just something handy would be great. Okay, so if you do not take pills, skip this, but Advil, Tylenol, painkillers, all that stuff, vitamins, like don't forget that. Um, I know it's easy to buy in a convenience store or wherever you are, they're probably everywhere, but it just saves you the hassle of having to go when your head actually hurts. You, trust me, you do not want to be walking to that store when your head is hurting. <laughs> Been there, done that. So yeah, just to pack a little like supply kit of things you may need if you don't feel good. Okay, next is a water bottle. So this might come as a little bit of common sense that you want water in the middle of the night, you need a water bottle. But yeah, just don't forget it. It's, it's good to have one, carry it around to school and everything. Now, most dorms just have a light on the ceiling. A lot of them don't come with lamps. My dorm did not come with a lamp. 
but uh, these are things you have to look into also and see with your school what is in the room, what isn't, what you're going to need to purchase. So that's like my main tip to do that first. But um, if your dorm does not come with a lamp, you should probably get one, especially if you're the type of student who likes to study at home versus the library. Um, I'm definitely, I can study anywhere, so it's different for me, but a lamp on your desk is essential, I would think. If you're doing an assignment or anything, the light on the ceiling just does not do it. Um, a lamp would be good. Okay, next thing is a tote for your toiletries. Now, if you have shared bathrooms on your floor, I would say this is essential because you do not want to be grabbing all of your toiletries, shampoos, every single thing and carrying them to the bathroom every single day that you shower or every time you have to brush your teeth. So a little tote with all of those things is a game changer. It will make it so much easier, so much better and the things can just stay in there. And it can be one of those that, you know, it can get wet. So you just put it down on the shower and it'll be easy. But yet again, if you do have your own bathroom, if you're in one of those dorms, then you do not probably need that. But shared bathrooms, I would definitely recommend one of those. And along with the bathroom stuff, probably a robe is a good idea. Um, yeah. Next thing is a trash can for your room. Uh, yeah, so you don't have to go to the garbage disposal every single time. A trash can is definitely going to work. Now, this is uh, not going to apply to everyone because not everyone needs one, but like a little plastic mirror should also be good. You know, I got one of those ones for like $20 and you just stick them on the wall and they, they stay there. So if you're a girl or a guy, I mean everyone, everyone likes a mirror in their room before they head outside. So if your dorm doesn't come with one, once again, like I said, check and get yourself like one of those mirrors. Yeah. Now, if you are one of those people who likes to decorate, I know I am, just bring a lot of command hooks and like the tape that goes onto the wall, the adhesive tape that doesn't damage it. Um, this really helps and you know, you don't want to get fined for ripping something off of a wall and then the paint comes off. So the command hooks and then the adhesive tape will help and so many stores have them. You can buy it on Amazon too, but it really helped me decorate my room. And you know, there's different like weights on them. Like you can get the five pound, 10 pound, whatever it is that you're hanging up and it'll stay there. I never really had a situation where anything fell maybe once, <laughs> but yeah, it was fine. If you get very hot at night very quickly, and you don't have an AC unit in your room, I highly suggest bringing one of those mini fans. Um, that will be helpful for sure, especially if you're going to school somewhere hot and you can't open a window because it's just too humid. I know it's different for schools in the cold, but yeah. Next is a speaker. I think this is essential. I love listening to music. This may vary for everyone, this list, but oh my gosh, do not forget a speaker. I forgot one and it was awful. I had to go get it second semester when I went home. But yeah, uh, thankfully my roommate had one, but a speaker would be amazing. And then again, it varies for every single person. If you have a meal plan, if you don't, if you're cooking, but a kettle for tea or a coffee, you know, machine, if you are one of those people that needs their morning coffee or tea, probably best to have one in your room or your common space so that if you don't have a meal plan, you don't have to go every every day and then it's also just cheaper. Um, so yeah, that is my list of essentials. I think I have covered every single thing that I think you guys will really, really need in a dorm room. If I forgot something, feel free to leave it in the comments below so that, you know, people can refer to them and also see. I know this video is long overdue, like I said, but for those of you incoming first years, I'm praying that we have a first year. Um, I know it's a little bit uncertain right now with the virus. 
but I do not wish it on anyone that they miss out on the first year experience. I really don't. But yeah, so I decided to make this video because I know that a lot of university students are right now planning for dorms and everything like that. So yeah, I hope that you found this video useful and thank you guys so much for watching.